it was indeed a treat to listen to him today and to see the visionary thought of a great scholar a jurist a person well versed with islamic jurisprudence and understanding of the global events his message is loud and clear that we live in harmony we live in peace if you would like to protect the future of humanity excellency you as an authentic global voice of moderate islam and a profound scholar adored and respected by millions of people around the world we in this hall were singularly fortunate to have this opportunity of hearing you excellency your deep understanding of islam and religions of the world incessant efforts towards interfaith harmony courage to persistently lead on the path of reforms is not only contributing to better understanding of islam and its seminal contribution to humanity but also preventing extremist and radical ideologies to play plague the young minds we are proud of the excellent relations that exist that exist between india and saudi arabia which are rooted in shared cultural heritage common values and economic ties our leaders share a common vision of the future and had been closely interacting with each other excellency india the world's largest democracy and the mother of democracies as a land of incredible diversity in your talk you elaborately mentioned about diversity as a fundamental trait of our existence it has been a melting pot of cultures religions languages and ethnicities which have coexistence and coexisted in harmony for centuries as an inclusive democracy india has successfully managed to provide space for all its citizens regardless of their religious ethnic and cultural identities amongst its numerous religious groups islam occupies a unique and significant position of pride with india being home to the second largest muslim population in the world in fact to give an idea of the scale we are talking about indian muslim population is almost equal to the combined population of over 33 member states of the organization of islamic cooperation as i just mentioned islam arrived in india in the 7th century during the life of prophet muhammad peace be upon him and gradually found a new home in this subcontinent over the centuries it developed a unique syncretic tradition it was kinetic and dynamic it expanded and integrated it was reformative and it was also which enriched the culture of the new land that they have arrived the deep spiritual content of hinduism and islam brought the people together and helped bring, bring and helped in bringing about a social and intellectual understanding of each other it gave rise to a distinct and vibrant expression of peace and harmony not to the standing the vagaries of political ups and downs while the historians have focused more on the political events they have failed to capture this underlying spirit of accommodation tolerance and respect the social the powerful societal undercurrents that brought the people together and cemented their relations 